Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. And in the last 60 Seconds Challenge video, I asked you guys to write me up in the comments one of the hardest challenges that you guys can think of. And I was looking through the comment section and I was like, hmm, these challenges are actually pretty damn good. But there was a few that I saw that told me to do the yes to everything challenge again. There was actually more than a few. There was a lot that told me to do the yes to everything challenge on Sarbama mode. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do another yes to everything challenge because that shit was hard as fuck. It took me four videos to actually beat that challenge but let me show you something real quick let me see if i can find it right here and right here you guys thought those videos were lit as fuck because a lot of you guys supported the yes to everything challenge and i'm not saying i'm all about views but damn i'd suck so but anyway enough of that we are doing the yes to everything challenge on sarbama mode good luck to me everybody if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that everybody sit down buckle the fuck up because here we go. Okay, so if you guys are unfamiliar with the Yes to Everything challenge, basically anytime a scenario pops up, you know, when I'm living in the bunker, I have to say yes, no matter what the situation is, no matter if the situation Fs me in the A, I have to say yes to it. But everything in between, I can choose my own thing. Like, I can choose when everybody gets food and water. I can choose, you know, what items to bring when I scavenge and stuff like that. And basically, I can do what I gotta do. I just gotta say yes to everything, so... Let me actually think of what I need real quick because I haven't really thought this through. I kind of just jumped into this blind. I knew for a fact that I wanted to do another Yes to Everything challenge, but I don't know what items I'm going to get. Definitely going to get some protection just in case those damn raiders want to mess with my family. Let's put this over here. And let's see, let's see. Radio for sure. Map. Got to get the Cub Scouts book. What else am I missing? What else am I missing? Ah, oh, fuck it, fuck it. Ah, oh, damn it. Go, 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 go. Yes! Okay, so we got the items that we need. I don't know if we got everything we need, but let the yes to everything challenge on Sarbama mode begin. Day one, baby. I'm hyped. Are you guys hyped? You're hyped? Okay, not as hyped as me, though. You are hyped as me, though? Man, fuck out of here. You ain't hyped as me, though. One bottle of water? Bruh. Oh, fuck. This is a great start. Real great start. Okay, so let me put my 60 seconds game face on. <sighs> there you go. And let's try to beat this on Sarbama. Okay, good. More random notes. Well, that wasn't more random notes. That was the first set of random notes, which I never read, by the way, if you're new to this series. If you're new to this series, hi! My name's Jay. I like playing this game a lot because it's a fun strategy game that involves a lot of luck. But I'm gonna send somebody out as soon as possible because I need more items. And we're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. Or worse, it's worse. They're spiders! And not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, and very creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. Oh, and another thing that I mentioned is that if a scenario like this pops up, obviously I gotta say yes. But I also have to choose the first available item. In this case, it's the Boy Scout book, so we're gonna choose that. And we're just gonna live with the consequences. I mean, I know, like, if the med kit was first, then I'd have to use that. Which is a very big waste of space, because you need the med kit in order to heal the whole family. But we got a bottle of water from that, which is really good because we need that. And for the scavenging, it doesn't matter who I send out. It doesn't have to be the first available person. But I'm going to send out Teddy Boy, and we are going to choose the gas mask. Okay, it's day five. What a time to be alive. Give them the good stuff right here. And we feel like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat. A rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it, or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us, yeah. Just take that sharp ass axe and slap it across the face! Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Nothing to report on Timmy, and Dolores is doing quite well. That sounds good to me. And Timmy has been sitting there, just staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. Okay, here's our first yes or no scenario. We gotta say yes. We gotta talk to Timmy. We gotta say, hey, Timmy, how's life? How's the ginger life treating you? Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. That's good. If he's good, I'm good. As long as we have food or water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible. Okay, I think this is the military ending. This is the beginning. We get in contact with them, and then we have to do a series of events, and then we can get rescued. So this is good. Day 8, and we already have the government and the military trying to get our asses out of here. But the main question right now is, where the fuck is Ted? He better come back right here, right now. Come on, day 9, baby, come back. What? Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. We dodged a bullet this time, that is. If a bullet was huge, hairy, had eight legs, and a glowing head. 
Where in the fuck is Ted? One of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. Okay, usually I say no to these scenarios because I'm gonna get hurt. And if I use the gun, the gun's gonna end up blowing up and we can't use it anymore. But I think Ted's back. Yup, he's back, and the gun is not wrecked, but the gas mask is. We got two waters from that scenario, by the way. And one soup, and bullets, and a flashlight, and we lost the gas mask. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's real good. So let's feed and give water to them. And we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet here we are, we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, Dolores should, because she's the first available person. And so we have the twins, and we have the military trying to rescue us. Let's see which one gets us out of here faster. Um, I think I'm gonna scavenge one more time. I mean, the shelter looks pretty damn good. It looks really damn good. Mm, looks so damn good, I'd hit that. But we are gonna scavenge one more time because I just want to get as much items as possible. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other, while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. Okay, I have to say yes to this. Usually they give me something good, like if I don't have a radio, they'll give me a radio. If I don't have a med kit, they'll give me a med kit. What the fuck? Did you guys hear that? It sounded like knocking. I think they just added that sound effect because I never heard that before. That was kind of freaky. They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. And we got a gas mask. Fuck yes! Thank you so much! Just in the nick of time, too, because I'm gonna send out Dolores. Wait, no, no, no. Let me send out Mary Jane with the gas mask because just in case Dolores doesn't come back, at least I'll have like two parents because if you don't have one parent, it's a game over. If we lose Dolores, then we can only rely on Ted to live. But if we lose Ted, then we can rely on Dolores. Do you guys get what I mean? Am I talking too fast? I'm a little on the hyper side right now. Today, we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. Their problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if any of us have any spare hydrogen peroxide. Yes, we do. We can't say no. We gotta give you our most valuable item, which is water. And you're not even gonna do anything with it. You're not even real doctors. Who the fuck are you? Get out of here. Yeah, see? They just took the water and they just left. We ain't doing this shit for charity. If we give you water, you gotta give us something in return. We know very little about what's going on outside. Yeah, okay. So usually if we do that scenario, it tells us if we can go outside without the gas mask. Because that'll mean the fallout outside is good. But it's day 15. So let's give everybody some of the good stuff right here. And more random notes. Okay, 15 days in, going on 16. Everything's looking good so far. Day 17. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. Yes! They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is, they provided us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. Well, it's not complete gobbledygook today, because we got the map, baby. So we got the exact coordinates. Step one of getting rescued is complete. My baby girl Mary Jane's back. Actually, I think she's under 18. She is not my baby girl. She is just girl. A quick glance at the map gave us all the info we needed. We left the message in a bottle. Okay, so we got Mary Jane back. She brought back two water, two food. She lost the gas mask as well, but it's okay. So we're going to give her this because we don't want her to die. At least not yet. And do I have cards? No, I don't have cards. Okay. I might have to send out Timmy because I know for a fact that to get rescued by the military, you're going to need a deck of cards. So we're going to prepare to scavenge and more random notes. Day 20. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. Aw, oh, fuck, I hate this scenario. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing in the world, right? Right, I guess. I mean, I don't really care about old people. They don't have much longer to live anyway, but damn! Killing them for supplies? And plus, that's basically like a test for the twins. If we say yes to that and we kill those people, then the twins aren't gonna rescue us. So the twin ending is pfft. We have to rely solely on the military ending, so we're all in for that. But we got four cans of food, which is pretty good. 
and more random notes. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow? But how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Okay, the first available item is the flashlight. I don't really think that's gonna solve our vent problem. We're probably gonna end up sick, but let's see. Uh, Ted got hurt. Fuck. Fuck a duck. The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is to check what's blocking it, and the insects hurt Ted pretty badly. How the hell do insects hurt you like that? How do they hurt you so bad to the point where you have to wear this on your arm? What the fuck, Ted? Ah, oh, Timmy's back. Day 24. He didn't bring back cards, though. Oh, boy. Okay, but he brought back two food, two water, and that's pretty good. Okay, so let me give him that. And you know what, guys? I think I should use the med kit now. I'm gonna use it now. For this thing, it doesn't require yes or no. It's a matter of, you know, if I want to heal him or not. And yes, we're gonna heal him right now, so that's that. And should I send out Dolores? The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Should I do it? I'll do it when one of the kids are good because I don't want to risk having one of the parents go out day 27 The military is communicating through the radio again We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here But it turns out they need our help the speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop down a tree or two in the nearby park It sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming this will make it easier for them to extract us We never even liked that park. So let's do this already. Okay, so let's chop down some trees and I'm actually not too sure if we actually need the cards Okay, it's day 20 and Ted is able to go out again, but I need the kids to go out because I don't want to lose the parents So we're gonna hold off on there. It also says it seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe Maybe it's not from my experience when it's usually quiet. It's basically a 50 50 It doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to go well Maybe it's quiet because the Raiders are waiting out there just to strike if somebody goes outside the bunker So every time it says it's quiet. I never really trust that ha guess what we already got ourselves our very own fallout garden we got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Oh god, everybody's gonna get sick, huh? No! <laughs> please, please don't get sick, guys. For me, for me. Yes! Nobody got sick, hallelujah. Those were delicious. Our only concern is that they were glowing in the dark. And now we are too, for that matter. Uh-oh, hopefully they don't get sick. Dang it. But you know what? Eat this, guys. Eat up and drink up. Uh, Timmy can go outside, so let's prepare to scavenge. Today, we were visited by a strange-looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. Well, I don't have any items, so sorry, buddy. All right, so let's send out Timmy one more time for the homie DJ Screw. And hopefully, he doesn't get taken by raiders or he doesn't get lost out there in the wasteland. Because we're gonna need some water. We only have two bottles left. And once we're through with that, then we are so screwed. Day 34. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. Oh, God, this scenario again. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe. And we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it, right? Come on, not the kids, Ted. You're such a bad father. You're a bad influence on Mary Jane. You're going to kill some kids? Oh, speaking of kids, hey, Timmy. How you doing, buddy? We got one can of soup. And what else did we get? We got two waters. And that's about it, man. So let's give them this. At breakfast, we heard a knock on our door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. Ooh, I like this scenario. He told us his group was having a hard time finding supplies. Wherever they'd go, they got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. The friendly mutant presented us with an offer. In exchange for some supplies, his folk would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we come back home safely. No problem, dude. We're gonna give him the water because that's the first one. And with that one, basically it guarantees that if you leave the bunker, they're gonna help you out no matter what and you're gonna come back safely, guaranteed. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person out to meet them. Sounds like some kind of precaution or a trick. We hope we know what we're getting into. Who should we send? Ted, for sure. And I think there's only one more step to do before the military gets us. So we might actually beat the yes to everything challenge on Sarbama. What the fuck? On our first try too. This is madness. We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes, and told us they would get back to us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. But he returned safely from the voyage. Thank you, Ted, so much. And we're going to prepare to scavenge. And today's day 38. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Two more days. I'm actually going to feed whoever I send out. Just in case. Just as a precaution, because I don't want to lose anybody. If I could beat the yes to everything challenge on Sarbama with all four family members, I'm a god. 
I'm the GOAT. So we're gonna pick Mary Jane, and we don't even need to say good luck because we know she's coming back for sure. Day 40. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who is clearly not a trumpet player, and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Should we let them in? We're rich. We're rich, Biatch! He's gonna take from us and give to the poor, right? He's gonna do it. Oh, fuck! He took the Boy Scout book, you son of a bitch! Yeah, he took the book and he took the flashlight. You damn merry men! You freaking hairy loose buttholes. Day 44. These are dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. Oh my god, this scenario for a third time? We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door, and there might be some supplies inside. What the fuck? Why do we stay killing people? We're so murderous! Of course, there's a chance the neighbor and her kids managed to get there in time, but we could really use whatever they have. And we're stronger. Should we pay them a visit? I guess so. <laughs> Stop killing people. <laughs> You're making it hard to root for you guys. But what did we get? I don't even think we got anything. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they've promised us a painful death at least 17 times already. And it's only been five minutes since they arrived. We'd better prepare. They'll be forcing that door any minute now. Nope. We got the padlock which is stronger than any gun that we could ever have because it can't let them in. And Mary Jane's back, right? Yup, she is back and she brought back a med kit. You the real motherfucking MVP. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. Well, I hope the military comes and rescues us ASAP because I don't think we have that many supplies left. We got two water, a med kit, and that's it. Okay, so let's give her this. And nobody's going outside anymore. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Doing so in a tiny underground shelter is probably even lower on the good idea scale. A few matches later and we ended up with flames licking up the walls. Time is short, we need to put it out and save our supplies. What do we save? Oh my god, thank you so much that the med kit's the only thing that I can click on because if I had to choose anything else, I'd be so sad. Well, the med kit's the first thing anyway, so we're good. Come on, it's day 48. Where's the military at? We woke up to the sound of banging on our door. Someone has been at it like there's no tomorrow. In a manner of speaking, that might be true. Shall we open the door? Oh my god. If I can beat the yes to everything challenge on Sarbama mode with all four family members, I am the greatest 60 seconds player of all time. Hashtag stay humble. I think this is the military. I'm not sure. It might be a trick. It might be the Raiders, but we have to say yes anyway. So please, please let it be the end. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Did I do it? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Are you kidding me? This is insane! We waited a long time for this moment. Words can't express how we felt when we saw those soldiers enter our humble shelter. We're safe, finally safe. What will tomorrow bring? We don't know, but it's sure going to be better than this. We survived for 49 days on our first try with all four family members. Are you kidding me? I guarantee you, if I started this up again on Sarbama mode and said yes to everything with all four family members, I would not have survived. Like, so much luck goes into this game, but I guess luck was on my side today. So we survived 48 days. We consumed 10 and 3 quarters water. We consumed 8 and 3 quarters soup. That doesn't make any sense. Because wouldn't it be the same amount of soup and water? Wait, we gave two water bottles to the fake doctors and the mutants. Okay. Times defended your shelter one. Yes, decision seven. No, zero. Successful expeditions, eight out of eight. And items brought from expedition 17. Oh my god. That was the best. That was awesome, guys. High five for that one. If you guys enjoyed this challenge and want more 60 seconds videos in the future, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead. Dude!